Hello and welcome back to Fan Geek Tastic. Today we're going to be talking about how I turn a priority mailbox into a Gemini type comic book mailer. I put out a video recently that was uh, how to ship your comic book correctly, and that is what I use for if they're not very expensive comic books. If I'm trying to send something more expensive, um, something that I definitely do not want getting bent, I use a different way. And basically it's like a, a Gemini comic book mailer or one of the other comic book fold-up mailers that you can buy. But I make them myself. They're not that hard to make and uh, they don't really take all that long. It's just a priority mailbox that you get from the post office for free. And this is generally what I will use. I'll, I'll use this and then I'll put them inside of a, uh, a shipping bag. Not like the one that I showed you before. This is more of a plastic type bag and uh, that's what I use. So. First thing you want to do is you want to cut your, your box. So I always cut right along the seam where it's glued because I don't really want this piece. You put this piece in in with your comic book because your comic book is going to be on, on this side of the, of the box. And if this ends up against your comic book, you can leave a uh, an impression of it if they decide to... Uh, be extremely careless with your comic book so this is what you what you're looking to do here this is the side with the uh, the glued piece and this is this is the part that you're going to put your comic book on but on the other side so I have it marked as the bottom I don't know if you can see that well I have it marked as the bottom what you want to do is you want to find the center and for this particular box, it's nine inches from the edge over here to the middle. All right, so once you find the, the middle, then you're going to go off four inches off each side, which gives you an eight inch line going all the way down. And then you'll go another three quarters of an inch outside of that for your next line. And these are where you're folding. So what you do is you take your ruler and your cutter and then line up along your line and you just score it you're not trying to cut it you're just trying to score it much like the way that uh, your comic book mailer boxes are scored And you can hear it bouncing off the corrugation. So what happens is, whenever you get finished with that, you're able to bend it. Okay, and that's where you get your, your folding capability. Now, this is for the bottom. So, once you do both sides, once you do both sides, your comic book will sit in here. And you can get several comic books in here, or you can use padding. If it's an expensive comic book, you take your, your padding, and you'll just fold it. And there you go. That's your first level. Let's go ahead and get that out of the way and flip it back over, and we'll go on to the second level and we're going to go ahead and cut these this line here is at eight and a half inches eight and a half inches from here to here so uh, four and a quarter so we're going a quarter inch further out than we are on this line over here and then we're going to go another three quarters of an inch further out for the outside line, same as previous. Alright, now that we got that taken care of, there is one more cut we need to do in this section, and that is here. And this is one inch wide. It allows you to bend it here where you need it to. So I'm going to go ahead and use this. This one you do want to cut all the way through because this piece of material, this cardboard here, is going to be taken away. Cut that one 
ていきます。There you go. And you also want to do to the other side. Now that I got that done, here you want to go ahead and just make a light score going all the way across. Now, this is going with the corrugation, so you're not going to hear the bump, bump, bump. All right. Now that's that section's done. We don't need this over here. So I go on the edge and just cut it flush. We don't need that piece anymore. And then whenever we come over to this side over here, this is to keep it from sliding out the bottom. So basically we just want it to be a straight cut across. So now all we got to do is one last score going right across here. We know that this is the bottom here where we start off from. So, go ahead and close that, close that, and then we take this side and we flip it over. We close this, and then we close this, and then we can tape it up, put it inside of a mailer. My mailers are back over on the other side of this table. I just recently bought a collection from somebody and I'm going through and I'm deciding which ones are going to be sold, which ones are going to into my collection and which ones are going into the dollar bins. So that's the reason why these are here and I can't get to my bags. That is all you need. And once you get it like this, you quite literally cannot bend this thing. It's like uh, the old uh, break one toothpick easy on its own. Put a hundred of them together and it's almost impossible. That's uh, basically what we got going on here. So that's how I make shipping boxes for the more important comic books that I ship out. If you have any questions, leave it down in the comments, please. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like. If you enjoy multiple videos by me, go ahead and subscribe for everything you're a fan of, everything you geek out about. This is Fan Geek Tastic, and we're here for you.